What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the NG Models August 2024 releases. The hints have uh, been out for quite a while now. Um, if I pull up their Instagram page, well, actually that's going to be buried down here a little bit. There we go. They were posted a week ago, so it's been, it's been out for quite a while, and these are all the hints that we have from this announcement. We have three A319s, three A330s, four A350 900s, two A350 1000s, six 737 800s, three 737-900s, that looks like seven 747-8s, seven, and two triple seven 200s. I finally got them up on the websites. That's the only reason why I'm recording this video, because I've just been waiting for them to put them up on the website so I can actually take a look and see what they have released instead of looking at, like, a text list, which doesn't provide any images or any descriptions other than the text info. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the August releases, or the August offers, as they title it on their website. So the first offering that we have, we have a very colorful Cypress Airways A319. Not exactly familiar with this airline, but I do like this teal color that they've got going on on the fuselage, but it does have a white nose cone. There is a second one which has a correct, correctly applied nose cone, if you will. And then moving down, we do have a couple Star Alliance aircraft. The first is a TAM Brazil A330-200. And then there is a BMI one as well, A332 with the Trent engines. We do have another one here. This one is from Avianca. November 342 Alpha Victor is the registration. And then looks like we do have another release of the Ultimate Collection Sichuan A350-900, which was delayed on the, um, the last announcement. And there's also a regular release right after that. It looks like we do have the new Team USA A350, so this has also now been announced by NG. I do know that Gemini has it up on the Team USA website for like 40 bucks. This one... MSRP is 58, so I think if I'm going to get that, I'm probably going to go with the Gemini to save a few bucks. There's also Ultimate Collection, and that one's going to be $60, so that is very interesting. We do have California One in this set. Okay, so that is a good offering from NG. So happy that somebody finally did California One on the 738. So I've not yet seen it. I don't have much incentive to pick it up, though, but I'll have to reassess that later on and see. China Eastern 737-800 up next, the Yunnan Peacock Orange Colors, former logo on the tail, so the old delivery. Then we do have a Qantas 737-800. This one is with splits and is in the older livery. And then there is a, another one. This one's just a different registration. So the first two um, Qantas 738s with splits. We have a United 737-900 with that 100th, 100 sticker, like their 100th aircraft, 100th 737 aircraft. Um, I think that's what that's supposed to be. And then this one, okay, I've never seen this special delivery. This is called March of Dimes. Um, proud partner since 2004, I think is what it says. November 66837, but that livery doesn't exist anymore, to my knowledge, because I haven't seen it. We have an Air China 747-8 with the Ultimate Collection. And then there's also another one, and this one's supposed to have a Wi-Fi dome on it. So not much difference there. And then we do have a couple regular... Air China 748s after that, which is the same registration. So trying to make as much as they can out of the batch that they have made. Then we have an Atlas Air 748, a regular livery, thank goodness. It does have a little sticker in memory of Roger Fetter, I think is how you say it. And then there's also another one. This one has a Qantas Freight sticker on it. And then the second one is the, uh, um, this is the this logistics company. I can't say their name properly, um, but this is the one that I, see, that I saw Gemini do recently. We have another one. This one has the 30 Years uh, Atlas Air sticker on it. And then we have another one. This one's a, a true regular. No special stickers, no nothing. None of that uh, stuff going on. Then we have an Air China 777-200. This one is with the Blue Phoenix Liner uh, special livery. And then there's also another one. This one is the red color. And then moving down, we do have, looks like some 747s. So we have the sample 747-100. This one is the with the JT9D engines on it. And then we do have the 767-200 sample with CF6 engines, and also 763 with the CF6 engines. There's also one with the Pratt & Whitney 4000 series engines. MD82 is also on here as well for a sample, uh, fit for MD82 late version, MD83 late version, and the MD88. There's also an MD81, which has the pointy tail cone on it. And then have some Ultimate Collection releases that got thrown down here. This is just the red and the blue Phoenix liner. 
And then the last release for 1 to 400, we have this China United 730-7800 with a special livery on it. And that is all the releases that we have for this month. So yeah, it's basically more of the same with regards to um, what NG would typically release. A lot of American, a lot of Chinese aircraft baked into this release, and then plenty of blank releases or blank models, the sample ones that they always like to do. Um, so I don't know. I maybe want to pick one of these up, the sample MD-80, the, the blank one, just, just so I can actually see this NG MD-80 finally, because I'm going to get impatient waiting for them to do a black nose variant for American Airlines, because that's what I was planning to get, but they never did it when they did do the American MD-80s in May, it was. So I'm going to have to hold off on that for now. Um, let me see here. Oh, I did miss one United 739. This one has a Special Olympics sticker on it. But yeah, that's basically uh, all the releases there. So not, nothing too special to report home back on. I would say the only highlights were really the Cypress A319s and then the Southwest California one. I think those are really the only takeaways that I can really make out of the uh, out of this release here. There isn't, there isn't really anything else that stands out to me right now, um, which has been, again, kind of the norm for NG lately with all these releases. They, they've been making some pretty large releases and not really diversifying on a lot of... Um, on a lot of particular subjects, just been kind of doing the same, the same airlines or same group of airlines and not really like diversifying on that. So hopefully they can continue to work on that as we move into the future, because I know this is kind of a, kind of a dire time for the brand from what I understand. There's been a lot of, uh, seems like there's a lot of issues going on or something else. I don't know exactly what, what the deal is behind the scenes. And I mean, we're never going to know, but it does seem like, um, I feel like you're kind of stagnating here just kind of at this point in terms of the quality of the releases, but at least the the good thing is the quality of the models themselves don't seem to be affected that much. I think there's still, yes, you still do have like an occasional, you know, model or two that comes broken, but that's to be expected. So overall, I would say this is this is an okay release from NG. I can definitely live with it. I, I take the Southwest California one, but I'm trying to save up, so I can't really afford to buy models right now. Um, but I don't know. As I said, maybe I need to work extra hours if I can. I think that's, that's what I need to uh, invest some time in. Um, but I've got too much other things going on with YouTube and obviously other other commitments that I have, so I'm not going to have much time to do that anyway. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.